Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are looking at another 5 things you still didn't know were a thing in New Horizons. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So Animal Crossing New Horizons has been out for well over 4 months now which is absolutely insane when you think about just how long we waited for it to release, the time is flying by super fast. Now before we get into things as a bit of a quick news update, Nintendo just announced Animal Crossing New Horizons has sold a whopping 22.4 million copies worldwide and has now outsold Pokemon Sword and Shield, Zelda Breath of the Wild and even Smash which is incredible. And actually it's only a couple of million sales away from overtaking Mario Kart, see what I did there, and claiming the number one spot. This is amazing for Animal Crossing and will almost certainly ensure continuous updates for the game for many years. Plus it's great for the community too because it means new players are joining in every day and some of which are only now experiencing Animal Crossing for the very first time. So that's really awesome. Anyway with this in mind I thought it'd be fun to go over 5 things that you probably didn't know were a thing in New Horizons. Of course the term secret should be taken loosely as it's impossible to highlight tips and tricks and features every single player doesn't already know since we all play differently and some are newer to New Horizons than others but hopefully you still discover something new. So here are 5 things you still don't know about Animal Crossing New Horizons. Number 1. Cleanup Trick as you probably already know the resident services centre includes a recycling box where you can usually find all kinds of items that are free to take. Most commonly you'll find cardboard boxes, flower seed bags and of course Gulliver's rusted parts after he's visited. Now this box actually contains 80 spaces, it seems there are 60 visible slots and 20 hidden slots in case the box overflows. Anyway that's quite a bit of extra storage that thanks to a cleanup trick we can use for things like DIY recipes that we can't actually store in our ordinary storage inside our houses. So if you have a bunch of spare DIY recipes, you know who you are, that you'd like to hold on to for either trades or for friends when they next visit, instead of having them laying around your island damaging your island rating, you can simply use the island designer app and request a cleanup to move these spare recipes and pretty much any other items you want into the recycling box until you need them. All you have to do is place the items on a table and request a cleanup. This works for all placed items but items such as crafting materials and these recipes do need to be dropped on tables first, seems they can't be placed like furniture. Anyway after the cleanup has finished all the DIY recipes or whatever items you've decided to move are now safely stored in the recycling box until you need them. It's a pretty neat trick that most people are now using for DIY recipes but you can store fossils, pearls or even bugs and fish in there if you really want to. Number 2. Lost Decorations now lost items are something that's been part of the Animal Crossing franchise since the original. Essentially you can be going about your daily routine or simply relaxing somewhere around your island and at some point you'll stumble across a random lost item that has been dropped on the ground. Some of the items you'll come across include books, notebooks and bags, all pretty adorable items. The idea is to pick up the item, find the owner and safely return it to them and hope you'll be rewarded for your efforts. How this side quest pans out pretty much depends depends on the personality type of the villager and whether or not you find the right owner. Anyway given the lost items are so adorable they make for quite unique decorations. For example the books would look awesome next to an outside library or dropped by a campfire and the bags would look great as part of a market stall or outside shop. Now in order to use these items for yourself all you have to do is wait a day and keep the lost item in your pockets without returning it to the rightful owner. I know sneaky right? The next day the side quest is forgotten and the lost item becomes yours to do whatever you like with. If you use this trick already be sure to comment below how you're using the items. Number 3 Pattern Search now as you know patterns and custom designs play a huge part in the appearance of our islands and are more popular than ever before. We can use custom patterns for laying paths or creating unique little areas or even to create custom clothing and headwear much like the horned hat and the fish shirt you see me wearing in pretty much every video. Now since launch we've been able to use other people's patterns by searching creator IDs or design codes at the design kiosk found at the Able Sisters. Of course this is all well and good if you know the codes for the designs you like. 
Thankfully though, since the recent summer update, a brand new feature was added that allows us to finally search specific keywords or certain types of patterns like shirts or dresses and find a whole bunch of designs free for the taking. For example, if you're looking for a dirt path, you can simply search the word dirt and it will return all the available dirt patterns people have uploaded. Similarly, if you're looking for something completely random like a Tom Nook design, for example, you can search Tom Nook and it will return a bunch of Tom Nooks. It's pretty awesome. Now I know this is probably already known by many of you, but it still seems to surprise players when they discover it for the first time. So hopefully this helps you out. Number four, dream tools. Now thanks to the latest summer update, it's now possible to lay in your bed and fall asleep to encounter the special character Luna and her dream suite and use this to visit other players dream islands. Now before you head to someone else's dream, Luna empties your pockets and prevents you from taking tools to someone's dream. Personally, I'm not really sure why they did this, seems it doesn't matter what you do on a dream island, but it does mean you travel there empty handed. Now whilst you're probably not going to someone's dream to catch fish and dig holes, you are most likely heading there to explore their island. So with this in mind, before uploading your dream, it's worth remembering your visitors won't have any tools such as the ladder or vaulting pole. So if you've got any areas on your island that still require these tools to access, they're not going to be able to see them. However, to solve this problem, be sure to drop some tools or any items you'd like your visitors to have access to, whether it's clothing or interactive items, right by the plaza before uploading your dream. This will ensure they will have what they need to access all cliffs and jump over all rivers if they want to. But is this something you already do? Let us know in the comments what items you leave for your dream visitors. Number five, dream visitors. Now speaking of dream islands, sometimes you might find yourself wondering how many visitors you've actually had, but there's no apparent way, at least in the game itself, to find this out. The good news is there is a way. If you head over to the Nintendo Switch Online app on a smartphone and open up your passport, you can see all the information related to your island, including your custom creator ID and dream addresses if you have them. Anyway, if you're looking to find out how many visitors your dream island has had, simply click on your recent dreams and you'll see it tells you the number of visitors at the top, how long since the dream was updated, and a recent dreams list showing the islands you've already visited, which is pretty cool. Now, knowing how many visitors you've had isn't essential, but it's still pretty cool to know. And there we have it. That was five details you may not have known were a thing in Animal Crossing New Horizons. But what do you think? Did you know all of these? And do you have any other little details or tricks you've discovered that we need to know? Let us know in the comments, and if we get enough, I might be able to put them all together in a future video. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment lost items. Just let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include what areas you're currently working on around your island. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.